Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization! Our colonist, who foolishly attempted to explore um, good, scout good sites for a city over here, at the tip of South America, got on our caravel and sailed to Plymouth, which is not a great place either, but, you know, what are you gonna do? And... This is a colonist carrying a hundred tools. And this guy is actually a hardy pioneer already. So I have to get his tools over here. And this guy actually has to found a city somewhere else. So I'm... <clears throat> Rainforest. Yeah, this is going to have to get plowed. And this guy... What am I doing with this guy? Oh, I don't know. Looking at the French or something like that? Price of cotton rose. All right. So, what do I have in Montreal? Our fine English colony of Montreal. We have a lot of ore and a lot of rum, so I'm just going to go to Montreal. Just like that. Poof! Did you see that? We're going to load the rum and the ore there. This guy is going to be a pioneer. And it is God's will that we should indeed abandon our Montreal colony and forfeit all of the French's hard work here. Ah, so sad. Goodbye, Montreal. Oh, and the ship is uh, on uh, beached now, unfortunately. <clears throat> That's all right. I don't care. Is there any ore in Plymouth? There's no ore in Plymouth. There's no ore in Plymouth, and there's no rum in Plymouth. Rum? Why would there be rum in Plymouth? Go to London. Uh-oh. Caravel? Are you stuck or something? Ah. Uh, that's probably not going to end well for me. I'm going to wait. Oh, that doesn't do anything. And a new cargo of lumber is ready. All right, so let's go over here. This guy should stop cutting wood and start being a... Oh, I don't like it when it does this. Carpenter. Now he's going to use the wood that he cut to build docks, which are going to be very useful because of all this ocean we have here. And this fishery. Look here, there's a fishery. Which produces... Uh, terrain types, ocean... Three more food for a fisherman, or six more food for an expert fisherman. How do you like that? That's a lot of food. It's good good to have. And this caravel is... Alright, good. I was afraid the caravel was stuck. Well, apparently four moves are required to get a caravel off of land. It's irritating. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh dear. This guy has a horse. And... They are welcoming, me, uh, welcoming us again to New France. Well, I welcome you to New England. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Our forces aren't going anywhere. And this guy wants inviolable English and French spheres of influence. All right. I don't want to get hurt by them. We suggest an alliance. You must attack the infidel Tupi. Do I have 500 gold? Oh, I can't get the Tupi killed for no reason. Go to England! I told you to go to England. I think these Frenchmen are going to kill all of these Indians. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. That's what is going to happen. All right, Pioneer. Bilton. Roanoke. Yeah, all right, Roanoke. Silver, huh? That's an interesting one. How about you be a lumberjack? Oh, actually, you're supposed to be a, a hardy pioneer or something. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'll go to Roanoke with these guns. Tupi gave us sugar. Thank you. Oh, look, there's, there's, the, uh, there's the rum right there. And uh, the ore. This guy's carrying ore in a box. 
And this guy is just carrying some stuff. I don't know. He's he's carrying our laundry. Yeah, that's it. He's carrying our laundry. So, let's see what we can sell this stuff for. Or for 225 gold. Hey, not bad. And rum is worth a huge amount. But we don't have that much, much, that much of it. 144 gold for that stuff, though. So we've got our master blacksmith. And we've got our horses, because we are buying horses. Did I mention that? We are buying horses. Let's sail the new world. That was most of our gold right there for those horses, but we're going to need them. The price of rum has fallen. Alas. Probably because of all the rum we were selling there. All right. Excellent. Plymouth. All right. The reason we cleared the forest there is to produce more food here. Because each colonist in the town is going to eat two food. And so if I put another colonist in here, there won't be enough food for him and someone's going to die. We can't have that. So I, pl I cleared the forest, and we're now producing three food in the town commons, which is still not enough. This guy is using wood to build docks. I don't know why we still have 100 lumber. Did the Indians give us lumber or something? I don't know. 50 horses into the town. I'll take those coats. Thank you very much. And this guy, <laughs> this guy, is going to go to, 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 this guy's going to cut wood. He's not going to grow food, because if he grows food, he's not accomplishing anything. You see, he can grow food for himself, but that doesn't accomplish anything. He's just st standing there, sitting in there. He's going to cut wood. But they can't both cut wood because there's not food for both of them. So this hardy pioneer is going to be a pioneer like he was meant to be. And this guy is going to cut wood. Alright. And the blacksmith. I have no idea what to do with the blacksmith. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. No, wait. No, I don't. Wait. Yes, I do. Alright, I know what I'm going to do with him. Alright. Alright. He, uh, all right, this guy, dump him here. He's going to produce liberty bells for a few seconds, but only for a few seconds. And this guy is going to be the pioneer with the tools. And then this guy is going to do something else for me later. All right, prize of cloth fall. Go to Roanoke in New England, not New France. This is England. Don't you forget it. All right. Unload the rest of the horses. And there's muskets. That's a bad idea, but all right. Sugar here. And now we will sail to the New World with our plunder. So this, this town common is only producing two food, which is only enough for one colonist. That's no good. So we gotta plow this rainforest. And this guy is an uh, hardy pioneer. A lot of skills, pioneer, pioneer, pioneer. Hardy pioneers perform all pioneer functions faster. Well, that doesn't really explain anything, but you get the idea. He's an expert pioneer. He can plow fast. This guy is actually a blacksmith with tools, but, you know, <laughs> gotta make two. And this guy is just a brave little colonist. He's gonna sit there for now. Toopy gave us sugar, thanks. There's now master tobacconists in London. Can't imagine what I'm gonna do with them. Alright. Sons of Liberty membership in Plymouth is up to, uh, your hands in the way, man. 10% apparently. And and so what he's saying is that 
The rebel sentiment in Plymouth is 10%. If the rebel sentiment is high enough, we get production bonuses on everything. Alright. One sugar. Put that in there. And I'll just be sailing to London with this. And I'll just be making a road here. Alright, now we have 52 tons of horses. These tons of horses have been mating. And so I can grab 50 tons of horses and create a scout. Scouts all need 50 tons of horses. I don't know what they're doing with all those horses, maybe eating them or something, but now I have a scout who is actually a free colonist working as a scout. And I, with scouts can do things. For instance, they can visit Indian villages like so. And that scout has a big nose. And we can, unlike all the other people who come to, to Indian villages, except for free colonists, we can speak with the chief. So these guys train sugar planters, and they'll pay for rum, horses, or cigars. I can sell them horses. Probably be a real thorn in the side of the of the French. I will definitely definitely sell these guys horses when I get them. Oh, look at that! They gave us valuable beads. Thanks. All right, we can sell our sugar now. Good bit of money. Coats are very valuable. We can sell those. Great. How much money do we have now? 474 gold. Alright, what can we buy with 474 gold? Oh gosh. Uh, 400. Whoa. N none. I can recruit one of these guys, but they're just going to come to me eventually anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Purchase? I can't purchase anything yet, so I'm just going to set sail with this tobacconist. No idea what I'm going to do with a. Uh, with a tobacconist, besides clear his specialty. And let's see. A cleared Roanoke's forest, so they should be producing more food. Yep, see, 33% more. That's not enough for another colonist, but it's a start. One. Oh, and also this guy can move very fast. Here's the problem with having stuff in your warehouse. The king wants to tax it. This is never a good idea. You think, oh, 1%, what's 1% off of the money I sell and the money I get in Europe? You do not want to do that. Once you start doing this, you cannot take the tax rate back down to 0%. You can end the embargo which a sugar party will cause. And you can even trade around the embargo later, but you can never lower the tax rate. So, I'm afraid we're going to have to hold the Plymouth Sugar Party. Long live whatever country this is going to be. Sons of old, oh, that's a lot of sugar. This can only happen once, though, unless you bribe Parliament to end the, bi end the boycott. And then it can happen again. Sugar cannot be traded in London now. That sucks. <laughs> and rebel sentiment is rising. I don't know if the, the sugar party helps that or what, but... Anyway, uh, your hand's in the way again. This guy is telling us about rebel sentiment. So if we have at least 50% rebel sentiment in a colony, they get one production bonus to everything. That's one more food grown in the town commons... That's one more coat made from the same amount of fur. That's one more Liberty Bell at the town hall, whether anyone is there or not. It is a huge, big, good thing to have. Very productive to be a rebel in this game. All right. Wow, that swamp. And this is... See this little star thing here on the Tupi camp? This is the Indian capital. So we will speak with their chief. They also do sugar planters. They want cotton, tobacco, and rum. Guides! In honor of the strange tales you've shared with us. 
Our scouts are... Ooh! So now they're expert scouts. Rebel sentiment is rising. Yeah, we only have two colonies, so it's, it could rise pretty quickly, especially if we put people at the town hall, which makes more Liberty Bells. So let's look at scouts. Uh, come on, work. Scouts. Season scouts. Da -da 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 -da. Season scouts... All right, that doesn't really say anything about Season Scouts. Season Scouts get better results from meeting with Indians. That's all I can really say. That's the only thing I can really establish from that. One, two, three, four. I have to decide how many colonies I'm going to build in this great nation of New... Uh, this great land of New England. Let's speak with the chief. They want horses, cigars, and rum. They also do sugar planters. These people really love sugar. Valuable beads. Thanks. I like valuable beads. I love valuable beads. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put another colony somewhere else, I think. Anyone can found a colony, so might as well. Ooh, religious unrest causes firebrand preachers to be available in London. Which, frankly, is pretty useless to us. What Firebrand Preachers do is they sit at a church in the New World, and they cause immigrants to boil out of England more quickly. And Paul Revere has joined the Congress. Oh, you look dopey. So this is a fairly useless founding father. I just sort of accidentally clicked on him, and, well, it's like I got... I got what I deserved there. What does Hernan Cortez do? Conquer native settlements, always get treasure and greater fun if the king's challenge were free of charge. Well, that is useful, having the galleons transport the treasure free of charge. I might just buy a galleon for that purpose. William Penn doubles your cross production. It's already one third faster. He gives you an extra 50%, which is kind of crazy, but it's a crazy game. Ooh, this is a good one. Europeans always offer peace in negotiations, and the king's European wars have no further effect on the relations between the powers in the New World. Hmm. Interesting. Peter Minuit. Indians no longer demand payment for their land. All right, I'll I'll do him. I like I like free land. How about some free land, huh? Sweet. Santo Domingo. Oh, it's the Spanish. Uh, strange burial mounds, huh? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to get those. Trinkets worth 140 gold. I like trinkets. Thanks. They seem happy enough. I guess it wasn't anything important. Speak with this chief. They they do tobacco planters. Oh, oh, they don't do sugar. These guys do tobacco. They want rum, horses, and cloth. Pretty common stuff. And they're giving us more valuable beads. Oh, beads and trinkets. Can't get enough of them. We need all the gold we can get at this point. Next time on Let's Play Colonization... Our scout continues visiting native camps, and maybe we found a new colony. It's kind of what we do in colonization, right? See you then.